Santo Book of Acts, chapter 17, quickly. The Book of Acts, chapter 17. I would like to read also from verse 29. Acts, chapter 17, reading from verse 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or sliver or stone, graven by art and man's device. At the time of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained whereof he had given us he had given assurance unto all men in that he had raised him from the dead and when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked and others said, we will hear thee again of this matter. So Paul departed from among them. May the Lord our God bless his word to our heart in Jesus' name. Please let's have our seat. We are thankful once again to be alive, to come together, to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is Mount Zion. This is Mount Zion. Believe it, this is Mount Zion. Where we are sitting in heavenly places. Where the Spirit of God is guiding his children, moving around, correcting us, leading us feeding us with the word of eternal life. We want to take the part three of this, our teaching. The proof of Christ's resurrection. The proof. We've looked at in the Old Testament as how God used Abraham as a type in the shadow to show what he intended to do. But today, we are looking at the lamp himself when he came. He came himself. The lamp of God that taketh away the sins. John the Baptist saw him. He said, Look at the lamp. A man coming. And he said, Look at the lamp of God that perfected all things. And the lamp started talking now. He started revealing himself to the people, even though they did not understand. They didn't understand. In that Mark that we read, the Gospel of Mark chapter 8, that Gospel was telling us that the Lord took his disciples to Caesarea Philippi. He said, come, let's go to Caesarea Philippi. Let's take a walk. While they were going, he now started asking them, because it's time for revelation. It is time for revelation. Who do men Say that I am. You are my. You have been working with me. We sleep together. We we eat together. We you know. Who do men? At least you mix around with them. Who they say I am? He said some said you are John the Baptist. Some said you are Elias. Some other prophets. He said okay, that's right. So they don't know who I am. They don't know him. Because he said nobody knows the Son, except the Father. Nobody knows the Father. The father can pass beside you. You will think it's the son. It is whosoever the son will it to reveal the father to. If he didn't reveal it to you, you can never know him. You can walk with him. Like Nicodemus. Walk with him. Walk with him. Monitor him. Go to the crusade ground. Eat bread and fishes and whatever. Let me tell you. Until when he revealed himself to you. He now asks his people, 
you are my own disciple. Followers of Jesus Christ. Do you know who Jesus is? Many people don't know him. I'm telling the truth. Many people call themselves end time believers. We are children of the prophet. It's okay. Do you know the God of that prophet? Do you know the God of your prophet? The prophet of this dispensation. The prophet that God said, stand in the front. Let them file up and follow you. Whosoever. He, he said, the, the, the angel came to him and told him, if they can believe you, how many people will believe him? He said, who do men say I am? Simon Peter said, thou art Christ. Full final stop. Thou art the Christ, the, the only, the anointed of God. Thou art Christ. Many people don't know him as Christ. He now said, okay, do you know, Peter, there is no flesh and blood that reveals these things to you. They, they, they are fishermen, they don't go to school. They did not go to school. Eternal life is not by school. You can be a professor. It does not matter. Whosoever the son of man revealed himself to, he gave him eternal life. He gave her eternal life. Full final stop. The professor can call and say, um, what is Genesis chapter 1 verse 1? He said, I don't know it. But let me tell you, inside, there is eternal life. Oh. Eternal life is there. When the trumpet shall sound, he or she will be chained in a trickle of an eye. He said, thou art Christ. The Bible said, he now started teaching them. He started teaching them what he will suffer. He started giving them the revelation. Don't tell anybody, oh. Don't tell anybody. Listen, I'm telling you. Don't tell anybody. It's for you alone. For the children. Not for everybody. Many people don't know him. Today, many don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know that he's in charge. Now that we run through, we run to, we run through, we run through. Where are you running to? He's in charge. If you like, jump, reach this ceiling and come down. He's still in charge. If you stay in heaven, you remain God. Amen. Nothing will change. Amen. He's in charge. If you move up, he's in charge. If he bring you down, like he did to Job, he's still in charge. Amen. We must come to understand that God is God. When you say God is God, it means everything. The causes of all causes. The cause of all causes. Everything you think is the one that is in charge. If you go to school, he permitted you. If not, you will never go to school. You won't get the opportunity. Your father can be very rich. It does not matter. God is in charge. Come to that understanding. Then you say to yourself, many times we run, we run, we run. What are, where are we running to? He said, flesh and blood do not reveal to you. If he didn't reveal to Peter, nobody knows him. They will say, ah, Lord, eh, but you are John the Baptist now. Lord, you are this thing. They will say the same thing like outsider. But God, now, let me reveal who I am to my follower. He, he revealed it to Peter. Peter now said it. He said, remember, flesh and blood did not show you this thing. It's from my father in heaven. Who is that father? Is it not Jesus Christ? Is there another father? He said, I know the father, and the father knows me. When he's going, Peter said, they, they, they said, show us the father. Philip said, that is enough. Enough. He said, since you have seen me, you have seen the father. No man can say that. No man. All right, turn with me again to the book of Matthew chapter 17. I'll just pick some areas where he started revealing himself the purpose of his coming. Matthew chapter 17. Oh, let's read just verse 9. Verse 9. And they came down from the mountain. Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. See, 
Mark chapter 9, until the Son of Man be risen from the dead. He keeps telling them about the resurrection. Mark chapter 9, I want to read. Let me read from verse 9 also. Mark chapter 9, I'm reading from verse 9. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they have seen till the Son of Man will raise him from the dead. Look at from verse 10. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one with another. What is the rising from the dead should mean? Can we leave our Bible? It's the same thing. I'm just trying to show you in the book of the Gospel of Matthew and the Mark. He took them up and God confirmed. God revealed to them again. There. This is my beloved son. It's only him you should hear. Don't hear another person. Don't hear deceivers. They will tell you it's on the mountain. He's in a babish. He's in a, I've been to babish before. Then when I was uh, working in VI, when you drive, just drive around the Bible and park your car that you want to do. The, the day you walk around, you will see them baiting people. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not there. Our God is not in the stadium. No. Whosoever he revealed himself. Now is the time of revelation. You must know where you stand. Because the clock is ticking. I have 15 minutes more. The clock is what? It's ticking. And the time of his coming is by the door. The days of playing around is over. That's why he's revealed himself. This is the reason why he came. Don't tell any man until when I'm raising from the dead. He said, okay. They kept it to themselves. But they started thinking. Why is it? this rising from dead? We don't understand. Yeah. You know, Job thought the same thing. Job said, if anybody died now, there is the end. But there must be something after death. Yeah. But it's a mystery to them. Yeah. That's a mystery yeah. that God has revealed to us in our dispensation. Yeah. Turn with me to the book of John, chapter 2. Just to pick a little, there a little, to see. What God Himself said to us. John chapter 2, I want to read from verse 19. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Let's leave a Bible. Destroy this temple. And in three days, they told him about the temple. Oh, oh, Bethlehem Camp Temple. <laughs> we built this for many years. I remember many of our daddies, uh, the sailors, you know, when they were surprising us. I was working with Bra Igwe down here. Me and uh, Oyema, uh, Elder, Elder Johnson, we used to carry sharp sand over there. We are the laborers. So when I tell my bride, this thing is not straight. If the side comes, in, what are you doing there? Go and bring some sand. Go and bring sand for them. But bride used to look at me that this brother have knowledge of uh, this thing. So when an Israelite goes, I will come back. You say, come and look at it. This temple, we built it for 46 years. The Lord said, I will do what? I will bring it, you bring it down in three days, I will raise it up. Ah, ah, abomination. They say, Master, I mean 46. Revealing to them the purpose of his coming. But many of them did not know. In another place, in the book of, um, I believe it's the book of John. Uh, they say Matthew, sorry. Matthew chapter 12 from verse 38. The scribe and the Pharisees, they came to him. And said, Master, show us a sign. He said, It is evil and adult generation that look for sign. The only sign you will get 
the only one is the son of Jonah, Prophet Jonah. Prophet Jonah. How, how did it become a sign? He said he, he went to the whale's belly three days and three nights and he came out. Revelation. Revealing what will happen about himself. But they never grasped it. The proof of his resurrection. The lamp of God that took care of the sin of the world. Is revealing himself now that this is what will happen to me. The Son of Man will go as it is written of him. Let's look at the book of John, chapter 10. Hmm. It's so interesting. This God will serve. One song says, I go worship Jesus. So I go pray me. <laughs> the book of John, chapter 10, I want to read from verse 15. And as the Father knoweth me, even so, know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I will bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore, doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, and that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Amen. Amen. To lay my life down. Think about it first. Can a man die and he pick his life? Can any angel go cut off angel and he pick his life again? I have the power to lay it down, leave it like this, and I will go for three days or for one year, for whatsoever time I I desire, and I will come back and I will take it from there. I have the power to lay it down and take it from there. No man can take it away from me. Many of us, we went to bed yesterday. We went to bed. And this morning, he gave us resurrection. Resurrection means to rise up. And he gave us the life. Many people went to bed yesterday. They are from there to the mortuary. They can't say they have the power. No man can say that. No angel can say that. No cherub can say that. I have the power to lay down my life. Ah. Therefore, he is the life. Do you believe it? Jesus Christ is the life himself. Whether you are talking of life of 70 years or talking of life of eternal life. He's the one that gave it to us. No man can. The Bible said the day God called the spirit. If he called the spirit, no man has the power to say, wait a minute. Let me finish my food. Or let me write my will. Just give me five minutes. I want to quickly write the will so that I can tell my children my, or let me pack my car very well. I saw a man that died on his steering. I told really, they didn't tell I saw him. Maybe in the 90s. Police, police, police people, they stopped cars and it was, it was stopped. There was a little traffic. And my car, they moved the car. They woke the man dead and forgotten. He can't say, let me take up my life. When I drive, reach uh, my house, then dead, you cannot come and take me. I have the power to lay down my life and to take it up. That was why in the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 50, the Bible said, when he had shouted with a loud voice, he yielded up. He let the, not that they took his life. He yielded. He yielded up the ghost. He yielded up the ghost. He, he let go his life. 
Not that somebody came there. And that's why by the time the soldiers came, the soldier is already dead. They didn't broke his legs. He yielded up the ghost. He let go his spirit. No man take it from him. Even the book of John chapter 19 verse 30, he said it is finished. The Bible said he gave all he gave. Not that somebody said, come. You know, Pilate was saying, I have the power to, to, to hang you. You better tell me what I'm asking you now. I can tell them to hang you right now. They cut it to pieces. I have the power. I said, mm, listen to me. You don't have that power. The man that is standing before you has the power to take your life while you are standing there. He has the power to take your life. While you are standing, you just drop dead. And you will still be standing. And everybody sat running up and down. What a God we serve. Aren't we, aren't we happy to have such a God as our own God? Are we not proud to have him as our own God? The God has the power to lay his own life down and take it up. Go and check all the people they call themselves founders. If any of them can rise up. When they rise in resurrection, they are going to stand in front of our God for judgment. They will not tell why they deceive people. That they are the God. That they are the only prophet. That Jesus Christ is just uh, if you read all this uh, Quran, Hare Krishna, Great Message, all this and I've read them, all of them still mention about Jesus. But there is no way in this Bible I saw Muhammad do, or I saw Buddha. <laughs> Let's give the Lord a clap of it. I have the power to lay them alive and to take it up. And no man can take it from me. No man has the power to take it from me. Amen. No man has the, 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 the strength. No man has the courage to take it. No man can say that statement. Look at John chapter 11. I want to close with that so that we meditate on it. John chapter 11 verse 25. We know this story very well. Verse 25 said, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Amen. I'm the resurrection. So when you talk of resurrection, Jesus Christ is the resurrection. So if he is the resurrection, won't he show that he can resurrect? Why is it hard when Paul was preaching about resurrection? So people heard it, they said, ah, this man in Athens, they said this man is a setter of another God's doctrine. See him. What is he talking about? We hear you are on that time. Is a, a setter of another doctrine. We are not setter of another doctrine. We are standing on the infallible word of God. We are standing on the word that our fathers, the prophet, they have preached. We are standing on the word that the apostle has preached. We will contend for the faith. Anywhere we go all over the world, we are standing on the truth because our God will confirm his word. He will confirm his word. I am the resurrection and life. Anything that have life, God, the Lord Jesus Christ, is the one that gave him life. You are alive now because he gave you life. He resurrected, he raised you up this morning. I am the resurrection. <laughs> oh my God. It's so interesting to know that our God himself is not until that day of resurrection. He can do it today. He can resurrect people today. It's in our means. All the parts that is dead in our life, our God can still resurrect it today. Can we give the Lord a clap of it? Amen. May the Lord our God bless his word our heart in Jesus' name. We are going to take 
hymn number 100 as we hand over the service of our pastor hymn number 100 
can help you. Lord, our God, you have been satisfying us. Every day, every night. But none of us can satisfy you. Thank you, O Lord, our God, that you are not tired of us, O God. Here yeah, we come this morning again with our burdens. As our faces differ, so our burdens differ, O God. Lord, our God, you know the material which you have made us of. Praying to you, Lord, our God. May your Holy Spirit continue to dwell in us. That's the only good thing, O oh God, in this body, O oh God. Father, forgive us our sins. Forgive us our iniquities. Our Father and our God, thank you for Johnny mercies. Thank you for saving your children from that accident, oh God. Lord, you totally defeat the enemy's purpose.